I'm so excited to do our midweek challenge today and I'm here in the sanctuary to show you our school supply bucket. We have this school supply bucket here, one in the Parton Center and one in Maxwell Hall. But as you can see, it's not very full. I don't know if you can see that on the screen. The one in the Parton Center has some stuff and I think the one in Maxwell Hall is empty. Now, you have had a busy summer. I have had a busy summer. We There is forgiveness in all things, but these teachers are counting on us. These teachers who are our Nassau County school teachers um, buy a lot of supplies for their own classrooms, and it's because there's a lot of need, right? And so they need us. They have, for the last three years, counted on us to help bring in some supplies so that they can fill their classrooms. Things like paper, both printer paper and lined paper. Uh, colored pencils are in this box. That looks like a great pack of colored pencils. There are crayons, regular pencils, and then, of course, the needed hand sanitizer. All of this stuff adds up. And our challenge is to bring in things so that they don't have to use their own money to buy supplies for their classrooms or to use less of their money to buy supplies for their classrooms. So you have about two and a half more weeks to bring in supplies. And then on August 7th, we will host the school supply fair for all of the local teachers. So I am challenging you to bring in your school supplies. You can find the list on our website, mumconline.com, or you can, um, and you can bring them here, or if you're like me, and you are really good at shopping online, Amazon, Target, Walmart, whatever's your favorite, go online, put in the address, have them sent right to us. The address for our church is on your screen, and of course, also on our website. That's easy. That's totally acceptable. We'll put them in the buckets for you. But all of this is to say our teachers need us, and we are here to take care of all of the people who are caring for our children. Let's pray. God, we are so grateful for our area teachers, for the care, the love, the devotion that they give their students. And God, we want to partner with them in that. We want to thank them for their service and offer something that we can do, and that is to, to alleviate some of the financial burden they all experience. Bless the gifts that are given and the ones that are continue to come. Remind us to order um, and remind us to really support these teachers. In your name we pray. Amen.